Hey, what's up, everyone? Steven here. Uh, today, I want to do another video on how to control your Mac with your Wii Remote. Uh, I just did a video about it, um, a different video about it. But in this particular video, uh, I'm going to show you how to actually point and control your mouse cursor by pointing with the Wii Remote. Uh, but make sure to check out the other video. It's the same title as this up here, except it says version 1. And here's just like a preview of it. Hey, um, so make sure to go check that one out as well. There's two different ways to do this. This is the second way. And with this application, it is called Darwin Remote. So it's D-R or D-A-R-W-I-I-N Remote. Uh, link will be in the sidebar. That way. All right, so once you start it up, here is um, what it looks like. So the first thing yeah, you're going to want to do is click this button right here that says Find Remote. So go ahead and click that and hope, press the one and two buttons at the same time on your remote just like that and the buttons will um, flash so right here it says connected to Wii remote right here and if you look at this graph whenever I shake my Wii remote the graph goes up and down it's uh, getting the measures for my uh, X Y and Z wherever the Wii remote is so as you see the more I move it if I'm holding, holding it still the line is uh, flat if I go like that like that, I can you know, go like that and stuff. So that's pretty much um, that. And um, if you go to Darwin Remote right here and go under Preferences, here you can uh, and, you, and then you go to um, Key Mappings right here. You can select what all the buttons you want. So I put my A button for a left click, and I put my B button to right click. Okay, so I, um, go ahead and um, set up all those buttons and what you want them to do. You can also hook up your nunchuck, which I was which I will also be showing you what it does and you can also hook up the classic controller I do not have one though so I can't really show you that but once you've done all this go ahead and click OK and then you're gonna wanna click uh, this button right here for the drop down menu and for mouse mode on parentheses motion click that so with my mouse let me minimize this as you see both ha both of my hands are here it's kinda and uh, it's kinda messed up though it's not like the perfect but as you can see both my hands are right here and there is my mouse. I put a white background so you can easily see my mouse. So if I want to make my cursor, this is thing is it's kind of messed up. If I want to make my cursor go to that way. You have to turn it like that to the right. If you want it to go up, you point up, down, you point down. And then here is the A button. I can uh, uh, right click for my B. Uh, I'll try to open a window here. Depends. I don't know what window I have open. I'll try to open it back up. Uh, it's kind of. It's it's kind of hard to do, but um, so that's pretty much all of that. I'll try to open something up. I will try to open system preferences. Okay, this is just it's kind of hard to do, it's, it takes a while to get used to. I'm not used to it yet, but that is pretty much all it is. It's pretty cool application. Uh, there, I opened up X Slimmer. I didn't want to, I, I did it by accident, but. Uh, let me try to hit skip this version. There, yeah. Let me click use demo. Okay. Then I'll go back up here. I'll go down and I'll quit it. Okay. Forget that. Okay. Forget that. Okay. Right. So uh, I'm going to go get my nunchuck and I'll plug it in and show you what it does. Okay. So here I have my Wii remote and my nunchuck. And right when I uh, plug it in, this side window comes up right here. And um, as you know, the nunchuck is also motion sensor. So the more I move it, as you can see, that X, Y, and Z graph goes up, as you can see. So I'm moving both of them like that. And also this little uh, C stick right here. Um, you can see on the little blue circle with the yellow dot in the middle. I'm doing it like that. Um, so that's... Pretty much what happens. Uh, you can also configure it. I don't. I haven't really used this application as much, but I'm pretty sure you can configure this to make it the mouse. I don't know. I could try if I go to preferences. I go to nunchuck. Okay, so you can't use the C stick, but you can use the C and the C, the C and the Z buttons to do stuff. Um. So again, this is pretty much all the application. I will. I'm not going to turn on the. Wii remote for the mouse mode again because it's kind of hard 
but I thought it'd be a cool video to do it. I already know there's a whole bunch of videos on this. Uh, I just thought I'd make one. But so yeah. But also really make sure to go check out my other video, uh, how to control your Mac with the Wii Remote version one. I think that application is better than this, even though you can't point and use it. It's still better. The interface is better. But this is cool if you want to show your friends something to show your family if you want to make it look like you're a hacker if you want I don't know. Um, so yeah, make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Check out all my other videos. I will catch you and uh, I'll catch you in my other videos. I won't be able to upload more as frequently as I have been because I just started school. Uh, so and schoolwork comes first, even though I'm failing everything. But really, though, schoolwork does come first. So I'll try to get as many videos as I can up as often as I can. So make sure to subscribe. Comment this video, rate this video. Peace.